Jack Daniels is the world's most popular whiskey brand, but until recently, few people knew the liquor was created by Nathan Nearest Green, an enslaved black man who mentored Daniel. In today's video, we are highlighting how that poor orphan boy became the creator of the world's best-selling whiskey. Jack Daniel is a Tennessee whiskey brand. The Jack Daniel Distillery in Lynchburg, Tennessee, owned by the Brown Foreman Corporation since 1956, produces it. Jack Daniel's Black Label Tennessee Whiskey, packaged in square bottles, sold 12.5 million 9-liter cases in the fiscal year ending April 30, 2017. Other brand variants, such as Tennessee Honey, Gentleman Jack, and Tennessee Fire, increased sales by another 2.9 million cases. As a result, an additional 800,000 equivalent cases in ready-to-drink RTD products brought the fiscal year total for the entire Jack Daniels family of brands to more than 16.1 million equivalent adjusted cases. So how did Jasper Daniels' life start and reach the ultimate success level? The official website of the Jack Daniels brand suggests that its founder, Jasper Newton Jack Daniel, was born in 1850. His tombstone bears that date but his exact birth date is unknown. According to the company website, it is customary to celebrate his birthday in September. However, in 2013, the Tennessee State Library website listed his birth date as September 5, 1846. It maintains that his mother died in 1847, making the 1850 birth date appear implausible. However, author Peter Crass stated in his 2004 biography Blood and Whiskey, the life and times of Jack Daniel that his investigation revealed that Daniel was born in January 1849, based on Jack's sister's diary, census records, and the date of death of Jack's mother. Jack was the youngest of ten children born to Lucinda, Cook Daniel, and Calloway Daniel. His father remarried and had three more children after Lucinda died. Calloway Daniel's father, Joseph Job Daniel, had immigrated to the United States from Wales with his Scottish wife, the former Elizabeth Calloway. Jack Daniel's ancestors were English as well as Scots-Irish. Jack and his stepmother did not get along. Daniel ran away from home after his father died in the Civil War, leaving him orphaned at a young age. How did his career take a turn? Daniel was taken in as a teenager by Dan Call, a local lay preacher and moonshine distiller. Call and his master distiller, Nathan Nearest Green, an enslaved African-American man, taught him the distilling trade. After emancipation, Green continued to collaborate with Call. Daniel founded a legally registered distilling business with Call in 1875 after receiving an inheritance from his father's estate after a long dispute with his siblings. When Call resigned for religious reasons, he took over the distillery. The brand label on the product says Est and Ray in 1866, but according to his biographer, the business was not established until 1875. Citing official registration documents, Daniel purchased the hollow and land where the distillery is now located after taking over the distillery in 1884. By the 1880s, Jack Daniels was one of 15 distilleries in Moore County and the second most productive, trailing only Tom Eaton's distillery. In 1897, he began using square-shaped bottles to convey a sense of fairness and integrity. According to Daniel's biographer, the old number no. 7 brand name was derived from the government registration number assigned to Daniel's distillery. However, when the federal government redrew the district, he was forced to change his registration number, and he became number no. 16 in District 5 instead of number no. 7 in District 4. However, because the brand reputation had already been established, he continued to use his original number as a brand name. In the 1967 book Jack Daniel's Legacy, an entirely different explanation is given, stating that the name was chosen in 1887 after a visit to a merchant friend in Tullahoma who had built a chain of seven stores. Jack Daniels gained popularity after winning the gold medal for Best Whiskey at the 1904 St. Louis World's Fair. However, as the temperance movement gained traction in Tennessee, its local reputation began to suffer. Jack Daniel was never married and had no children. Instead, he took in his nephews, one of whom was Lemuel Lem Motlow, 1869 to 1947. Lem, 
Daniel's sister Fanetta's son, was good with numbers, he quickly took over the distillery's bookkeeping. In 1907, Jack Daniel sold the distillery to Lem Motlow and another nephew due to his failing health. Motlow quickly bought out his partner and went on to run the distillery for the next 40 years. In 1910, Tennessee enacted a statewide prohibition law, effectively prohibiting the legal distillation of Jack Daniels within the state. Motlow challenged the law in a test case before the Tennessee Supreme Court. The law was upheld by the court as constitutional. Daniel died in 1911 from blood poisoning. According to legend, the infection began in one of Daniel's toes, which he injured one early morning at work by kicking his safe in frustration when he couldn't open it. He was said to always have had trouble remembering the combination. However, Daniel's modern biographer claims that this account is false. Because of Tennessee's prohibition, the company relocated its distilling operations to St. Louis, Missouri and Birmingham, Alabama. However, due to quality issues, none of the production from these locations was ever sold. Following the passage of similar statewide prohibition law in Alabama, the Alabama operation was halted. The St. Louis operation fell victim to the onset of nationwide prohibition following the passage of the 18th Amendment in 1920. While the federal prohibition was repealed by the 21st Amendment in 1933, state prohibition laws, including Tennessee's, remained in effect, preventing the Lynchburg distillery from reopening. Motlow, who had become a state senator in Tennessee, led efforts to repeal these laws, allowing production to resume in 1938. In 2008, a gift pack of two bottles commemorated the five-year gap between national repeal and Tennessee repeal, one for the 75th anniversary of the end of Prohibition and the other for the 70th anniversary of the distillery's reopening. When the United States government banned the manufacture of whiskey due to World War II, Jack Daniels Distillery ceased operations from 1942 to 1946. However, after good quality corn became available again, Motlow resumed production of Jack Daniels in 1947. Motlow died the following year, leaving the distillery to his children, Robert, Rieger, Dan, Connor, and Mary. Later, the company was incorporated as Jack Daniel Distillery, Lem Motlow, Prop, Incorporated, allowing it to continue to include Motlow in its tradition-oriented marketing. Similarly, company advertisements still use Lynchburg's 1960s-era population of 361, although the city has since formed a consolidated city-county government with Moore County. According to the 2010 census, it has over 6,000 people. In 1956, the company was sold to the Brown Foreman Corporation. In 1972, the Jack Daniels Distillery was added to the National Register of Historic Places. In 2012, Mark Evans, a Welshman, claimed to have discovered the original recipe for Daniels whiskey in a book written by his great-great-grandmother in 1853. Her sister-in-law had moved to Tennessee. What about its recent history? Sales and Brand Value Status Black Label Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey is the world's best-selling spirit and the flagship product of Brown Foreman Corporation. The product sold 12.5 million cases during the fiscal year that ended April 30, 2017. Net sales for the Jack Daniels brand increased by 3%. Tennessee Honey and Tennessee Fire were also significant contributors to Jack Daniels' family of brands' overall underlying net sales growth of 3%, flat on a reported basis. Underlying net sales increased by 4% and 14%, respectively. Gentleman Jack, the premium brand, increased underlying net sales in the mid-single digits, while the RTD-RTP segment increased underlying net sales by 6%. It got lowered to 80 proof. Until 1987, Jack Daniels Black Label Whiskey was produced at 90 US proof, 45% ABV. The lower end green label product had an 80 proof rating. However, starting in 1987, the other label variations also were reduced in proof. This started with black label being reduced to 86 proof. Both the black and green label expressions are made from the same ingredients. The difference is determined by professional tasters who choose which batches will be sold as premium black labels and which will be sold as standard green label. In 2002, all commonly available Jack Daniels products were reduced to 80 proof 
lowering production costs and excise taxes even further. Modern Drunkard magazine noticed and condemned the reduction in alcohol content, which occurred without any announcement, publicity, or change in logo or packaging, and the magazine formed a petition drive for drinkers who disagreed with the change. At times, Jack Daniels has also released higher-proof special releases and premium brand expressions. For example, a one-time limited run of 96 proof, the highest proof Jack Daniels had ever bottled at the time, was bottled in a decorative bicentennial bottle for the 1996 Tennessee Bicentennial. In February 1997, the distillery debuted its 94-proof Jack Daniels single barrel. The Silver Select single barrel was previously the company's highest proof, 100, but it is now only available in duty-free shops. There are now 125 to 140 proof single barrel proof editions available. What do you think of Jack Daniels' story? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching Earn Money Kids.